All right, what's up? Pure, D Pure TCG here. Uh, just got back. Um, got the first place Dark Magician Girl Trophy Tournament here at our locals. Went undefeated. Um, very similar list to what I was playing that you might have seen the profile earlier. I was on Sprite. We got some tournament packs that we're going to open at the very end of the video. And uh, just kind of see if we can get lucky with those. Uh, I did get lucky in the beginning of the tournament for our entry pack. I pulled an ulti Fenrir, which was awesome. Kind of just a prelude for the event. Um, real quick, matchups. Uh, I played round one versus Manadum, or Manadrum, or however you say it. Uh, round two, I played against, uh, it was like Dark Magicians, or um, I believe there's a feature of it. I believe it was supposed to be like a uh, Dragoon's Turbo. And then, what was it? Round three, I played against Kashtira. Round four was Runic Sky Striker. And then round five for finals, played against um, Gold Pride Punk, which that deck actually was a lot more tough than I thought it was going to be. Luckily, I had a card in my extra deck in order to out the Psychic and Punisher, but we'll get there. So let's just get into the monsters. Normal sprite package, we got three blue, three jet, one red, one carrot. Like I said in my other profile, you're trying to get your next turn to kill, so I don't think you need any extra or any duplicates of the red or carrot. Um, honorary sprite cards, obviously we got the three, be or three beaver, two angler. Cards are insane. Um, my favorite card in sprite is gotta be Fenrir. Um, this card just puts in so much work. Uh, you can force so much stuff out in your battle phase and then combo off um, main phase two when you go second. Um, it's probably one of my favorite go second cards. And then going first is just setting up another inter layer of interaction. Or worst case scenario, you get to search another one, uh, make your sprint with just a random level two that you drew, and then go off. And then you have a Fenrir for follow-up if they do crack your board. Um, going into the hand traps. Triple Droll, uh, this is still uh, our pre-ban list. So this was the last tournament we could actually play with all the cards. So I expected people being on super heavy in cash. So Droll was good. Gamma, I won so many games today because of this card. Uh, I hate to see it go, but I understand. At the same time, I'm kind of scared that D-Shifter is going to run around and there's going to be no answer to it. But Gamma was just absurd. And then last hand trap, Imperm, probably my favorite hand trap. Just not being able to turn talents and thrust and everything alive on your opponent's turn is great. Uh, last monsters I ran, I'm still running the double uh, Cybers Gadget and then the one Fallen of Argros. Um, I think going next format with like board breakers and stuff, this will still be pretty good. Uh, I think Evenly's going to have a chance to come back. So I think uh, there's a couple times where my turn one board, I would end on the uh, Lingaribo. Uh, just so I can get impermed and then evenly as well. So it might be good to stick on these. I don't know. Uh, this is probably just my pet card. I love this. And then this card is great. Being able to uh, summon this out and basically on a link or a rank, uh, keeping uh, just an extra body flowing. And then like my other profile, I said this is good into the pearly matchup when you go first. All right, going into spells. Got the three Prosperities, cards insane. Uh, we got three starters. We lose a starter here coming up, and it hurts the consistency, I guess. What was it? Like 3% or something like that, so nothing really. Um, having this at two just means the deck is still just really strong. And then uh, we have two talents. Like I said, still a super heavy um, hand trap format, so talents is great. Uh, being able to look at their hand after they hand trap you, get the other hand trap out of their hand, and then keep going. One called by. Um, I was thinking about either playing a thrust in this spot or another talent, but at the same time, this just does the exact same thing, letting forcing your play through. And then this is also better to set when you do go first, where talents uh, can be dead. It, they don't hand trap you, so... Uh, lastly, we were playing the Double Cross and the Smashers. Double Cross is insane. Please play it. <laughs> uh, the amount of times that where you would set this and they um, 
try and crack your board can't and you don't even have to use this and then you can uh uh use this to get back like a jet from your graveyard and then have your follow-up plays uh to keep going the next turn and kill them is fantastic uh moving on to the extra deck we have the one lingaribo obviously one sprint um kind of want to up this to two even though diablosis is going to be gone the amount of times this will get like impermed or stopped and then on your next turn you want to have another one to make would be great uh one nightmare phoenix card's crazy please play this card as well there's so many times where they make some just like ridiculous board and then set like one back row and you want to be able to bait the back row before going through trying to break the actual board as well uh one lambda this could probably be cut for the second sprint so we can definitely uh just easily swap that in and out uh, we got the one IP, and then the IP can go into your Avermax, or luckily I was playing this to out the Psychic and Punisher today. Um, I actually made this card twice today, which was pretty cool. Um, just being able to answer anything on the board that you're scared of. Going into the XYZs, got Double Gigantic, one Onibimaru, one Mannequin Cat. Especially playing Fenrir in the deck, uh, Mannequin Cat gets a lot better. Uh, my OTK machine cat shark uh, like I said I don't like the I don't like drawing gamma burst I feel like I brick on that card all the time that's glued to my hand so being able to have this in the extra deck instead of having to play gamma burst in the main is perfect and then I uh, did get the OTK off the the shadow mosquito I think twice today which was great otherwise I made Zeus a lot um, this just having this package is necessary i don't know why people are running the sky cab except for maybe into the brandon matchup but at the same time that seems still free i don't have any trouble with the brandon matchup anymore after actually fully reading those cards so <laughs> uh let's go sideboard here we got three best deals uh still just great in the side i did switch over to lightning storms uh, i felt like there was going to be some back row coming up so i definitely wanted to have some back row removal which did end up winning my game two against Sky Striker. Uh, he went Fountain, set three, pass, and I just lightning stormed for his whole life and then won the game. Uh, three Dark Ruler, just came in a bunch. Uh, two Herald, didn't side him once, didn't play against Pearly once. One Thrust to go along with the Herald. Technically, if you do have it, this should be two Thrust and then uh, another Herald. Uh, give you more versatility into like the Lightning Storms or... Uh, the dark rulers i guess if you can kind of go that route or another thing to threaten and then i elected to play three anti-spell um i think i cited this in once against the runic sky striker otherwise i did a lot of 2 wing today luckily so didn't have to worry about citing that in but it was there would have been nice especially against like the cash tier uh, but that was it. Uh, the deck performed really well. It's going to be really well into the next format. Uh, I really want to try out the Live Twin version as well. I think the Live Twin version might be just even stronger to be honest. But I do like the Fenrir's. But let's crack these open and see if we can get another Fenrir. Let's start with the worst one, the 20. So we got Hanzo, just a super... All right, time space, black feather counter. And rescue ace. If there's any certain matchups you wanna see, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if there is anything that you kinda of wanna see extra on this channel, uh, I'm thinking about doing a from scratch series with Rika Sun Avalon, basically learning the deck and playing through it. Ooh, Alti Rhino Heart. Let's go. Two Altis one day. That looks good. And it's got the foil. It's got the swirl on it. It's not foil shifted. That looks clean. Um, but I am starting I am thinking about doing a from scratch series playing Rika Sun Avalon, basically learning the deck, learning the combos, going through it. I feel like that's a very hard deck to master and uh, basically push my skills a little bit more. Otherwise, I am thinking about uh, doing a scratch series on tier limit. I have been playing tier quite a bit uh, this past format, so I think tier is gonna be even better coming up now that we don't have to worry about Rise Heart. 
Uh, just a mannequin cat. Uh, let me know if that'd be something you're interested in. Otherwise, we'll just keep doing regular dual videos like we do. Getting, capturing that first, uh, that table one at Locals. And the last pack magic is just another Rescue Ace. Two ultis one day, can't complain. We got the Rhino Heart, and then in here we got that Fender I pulled earlier, which also has the swirl and non-foil shifted. So that's awesome to see. All right, thanks so much. Likes, comments, subscribe. You guys have a great day.